Hi guys. So I want to tell you my story. And uh, here it goes. <laughs> All right, so I started with my first, very first internet marketing company in November 25th, 19, no, not 19, 2015. I was completely against internet marketing, really. I used to have my sister always go up to me and say, hey, you want to join this? Hey, you want to join that? I was never interested. I was pretty much used to, and I just knew that I was going to work, right? A nine to five job. Well, my husband, who was 15 years older than me, ended up retiring, and so we wanted to have a brand new life. We wanted to sell everything where we were, and we wanted to move across the country. So I took a buyout from my company and I was going to take a year's leave of absence. I had worked ever since I was 16 years old. I was tired, I was stressed out. Um, I was making good money. And, um, but I was young and I wanted to kind of like keep bringing money in. I mean, and even interacting with people and everything. So I knew after a year, I was going to go find a little part-time job. Now, I also knew that I was going to probably, because I have about 30 years in, in customer service, um, that's all I know. So I knew that I'd have to go back to customer service jobs, retail. And I knew that I'd probably have to work like odd job, odd hours, weekends and all sorts of things. But it didn't matter. I, I, I thought, I'll take a year's leave of absence and go from there. All of a sudden, this particular gift came to me and it was kind of like kind of interesting um, because it's kind of down my alley alley because it does it was something I was interested in and I thought you know what I'm going to try this so I ended up joining this company and I gave up my all I loved it I still love it but I mean, I worked every day at it and I got my first uh, market partner in a month and my second market partner in a month and a half. And my first month I made $20 and that was like, wow. <laughs> my husband laughed, but I thought that was great. That was a, it was a paycheck. So I, Ooh, excuse me. This is who I am. I'm totally real. I worked it hard. I did 10 hours a day. I um, was on the leaderboards. I have like in their in their little books. I'm I'm often uh, mentioned in those books, um, and they had um, I've, I've earned trips and. Um, I've earned different incentives and I've enjoyed it. It hasn't felt like work. It wasn't work to me because I got to pick my own hours. I, I wasn't uh, managed by a clock or a manager or anybody. And I worked it like I wanted to, like I worked as hard as I wanted to, which I do because I always give 110% in anything that I do. Um, and I want to help people. I have always liked helping people. I like meeting people and the whole world. So, you know, it was great. I loved it. And I still love internet marketing. I really do. And, you know, I understand that it isn't for everybody. And um, I also understand that not, not everybody wants to buy. 
but just even the connections that I've made, the friends, you know, just the Facebook friends and everything that I've got to make from all over the country, it's been like phenomenal. So going back to, um, sorry, looking out my window, um, look, going back to, um, you know, my name was in lights, um, top group um, amount of uh, volumes. Um, but I, I, it was never good enough for me. I always wanted more for myself. I, I'm, 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 I'm completely like that. I, I'm only in competition with myself. I never wanted, I never was in competition with anybody else. I don't like to compete with anybody else except for myself. So, you know, I've, I've, I've gotten awards for all sorts of things. Um, and I love the company. I love the company. I love the products. Um, so about, and I've got some notes. I've got some notes because I want to make sure I do this properly. And this, um, here's my thing on anything that I do. And this goes back to my working life. When I worked a nine to five job, it goes back to when I was in high school. It goes back to anything in my life. I've always protected the little guy. I've always looked out for the person that cannot speak on their own because of intimidation, bullying, or whatever, right? So, you know, in high school, you know, they'd get the bullying and I'd protect those people or whatever, right? And um, so I like to, my life is run on integrity and trust. Oh, I don't know how many times I've said that in the last little bit, but it's true. I need to make sure anything that I do is correct. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I have to, oh, you guys must know what I'm saying. <laughs> So this company changed their comp plan. Now, that was my first, um, I don't have dates. I, I didn't do, I, I didn't maybe do my homework that much, but they changed their comp plan. Now, they, the comp plan was amazing. Our comp plan was like, I, I never worked for any other company, but the comp plan was pretty special. Um, and they said they'd never take away anything from us, but they did. They took away money out of our pockets. And, and please understand, I never really did it for money. Yes, I came in to this adventure, this journey, wanting to make 600 bucks is probably what I needed in order to compensate my husband's pension. So I wasn't out to be a millionaire. I wasn't out to make 10,000 or whatever. But when they change a comp plan and tell us in the end, we're going to have more money in our pockets and that wasn't the case, that's where I got a little bit, little bit upset because they did take money out of, out of the market partner's pockets. Now, sure, maybe they had to. Maybe it was a too generous, the, 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 the comp plan was generous. It was generous. But don't, don't say, please don't say that it's going to be the same because it didn't. It was not the same. So let's just leave it at that. The next thing um, that really got me going was the fake news. We all know about the fake news. And I was very disturbed with the fake news because there was a whole bunch of things that were said about this company that I was not happy with. I was scared, upset, nervous, stressed out, any kind of emotion that you could possibly think of when this, this news came out. Now, we were told that it was all fake, and okay, <laughs> they took their sweet time to get to us, and um, I 
pleaded with them to get because I was getting all these email, all these messages in my inbox from my team and from my clients. I didn't know what's going on. I didn't know how to respond to these people. I didn't know anything. And the company didn't took a while to get back to us. And I actually messaged the one of the owners of Malit, and they were all at a summit. And um, anyways, it took them a long time to get back to us. I felt it should have been done a lot quicker than what it was because we all went through so much stress. I mean, I did. Because of the passion that we have as market partners, I didn't know what to do. And so I, so that was another issue. And then we had another issue with the Renew Shampoo where there was a hurricane and they had to substitute one of the product ingredients. Well, I guess it did a number on some people's hair. And, um, but the thing was, we were not told as market partners, as business owners, we were not told about that. I actually had a client who used some of the product that was in question. And I didn't know until I was told days after. Yes, they did replace it, but I think that it, it was not dealt with properly. I think they should have been clean with us, okay? Next, emails. So I had, I have questions. We all have questions as market partners, and I'd rather hear from my company than another market partner. I have sent email after email after email after email and I never get any responses from emails. Um, I'm going to give you an example. It's been a thorn in my side for a very long time. We have a product called the Replenish Mask. Our Replenish Mask is when we first got it, had protein, protein-based. So pro too much protein will actually damage your hair. And then there was, there was a rumor there wasn't protein. So I had emailed. I had emailed customer questions. I had emailed every single person you could possibly think of with no questions. So I happened to be on um, Facebook and I watched somebody do a video and she's pretty high up in the company and she did a video on the protein, a mask, the replenish mask. So I watched it and she said to leave the, pro the mask on for an hour. <laughs> You're not supposed to leave the mask on for an hour so I had to watch it a good three to five times that particular section to make sure I was seeing that this woman who's high in the company who has many followers very many um, new market partners old market partners market partners watching her videos thousands of people so I reached out to her and I asked her I says can you please like explain to me why you feel like you should tell people to leave the mask on for an hour. And she says, oh, well, that's what I do, whatever. And I said, well, that's okay if it's what you do, because I do things <laughs> maybe that I shouldn't do, but if I'm on internet live and I've got thousands of people respecting what I say, I make sure I say it correctly. And I said to her, I says, but there's protein in the mask. And she said, there was not. I said, excuse me? So anyways, I left it at that. And I emailed another fellow because he had done a video on the mask. 
Now this fellow I love and I respect and I trust. And he told me there was, on the video, there was protein in the mask. So here's this girl saying there's no protein. And then the fellow says there's protein. So I, I, I messaged this fellow. <laughs> I said, uh, is there protein in the mask? Because this person says no, and you say yes in your video. Oh, he says, I was told there's protein, but there's no protein now in the mask. I says, would, you know, maybe you can put a disclaimer, put a disclaimer on that video because <laughs> He never did put a disclaimer on the video. So, and I'm not bashing anybody, nor am I bashing the company, or I'm just telling you my story, okay, my story, my frustrations. So, and I value everybody's opinion. And so what happened was I, emailed a woman, almost said her name, she's in charge of the products, right, product training, didn't get an email back. And then somebody mentioned, well, why don't you email RSM, which is our sales, our regional sales manager. Well, I messaged her on Facebook and I explained to her, and she says, well, would you please email me or forward to me the, the the information that you sent to the product information girl, which I emailed both videos. I emailed exactly where to look for the videos because people are very, very busy. Um, and I asked for some kind of, is there protein in the mask? And maybe to you guys, it's not a big deal, but it's the principle. I don't care if there's protein in the mask, but I want to know if there's protein in the mask. You know what I'm getting at? So my RSM never responded to me. I called my company and I asked them, I says, is there protein in the mask? And she told me to go and look in my back office to see the, the ingredients. Well, I just wanted somebody to tell me if there's protein in the mask. And uh, she didn't answer that. Now, there was, let me see, what else? There's something else I did too. Oh, I did go into my back office. And I looked up the product information sheets. We've got crazy good, crazy good training in our, in our back office, like really good. We've got product sheets on all our products. We've got videos in our Market Partner Academy. And so I looked, I pulled up the um, product information sheets on the mask and it has the ingredients. I'm not a big ingredient person. I just want to know one question. But it said to leave the mask on for 15 minutes tops. So the hour is not right. Okay, we don't leave the mask on for an hour. And then I figured, you know, I'll go into our Market, Apart um, market Partner Academy and, and watch the video on the mask and the same thing. We, we put on the mask for 15 minutes and we actually have to finish it off with another conditioner. Okay, so that information is in our back office. So that was like huge. Now our standards. We have a um, policies and procedures. Now, hey, I don't expect everybody to know them. I don't expect everybody. I didn't know them. I've been in with the company for almost three years and I didn't know them. But when in question, it is there. So, you know, please look at your product information. <laughs> your like, I mean, not product information, your uh, policies and procedures, because there's too many things that people are doing that we're not allowed to do. 
we are not allowed to share. And I am guilty of this, guys. I am guilty of this. Sharing stuff that doesn't come directly from the company. I'm guilty of this. But as leaders, we have to make sure that the downline is not doing these things. So, okay. Uh, what else? The I don't want to get into formula, the formula of our products. Guess that's only hearsay. I have an opinion on that, so I'll just leave that as is. Um, so lately, lately, um, I have been questioning a lot of things. So with all those things that I mentioned, I I've decided I'm still part of this company. But I cannot, I, I won't bring anybody into this company. And nor there's, if somebody wants the product, I will give it to them, but I will no longer advertise this product because it's just, there's too many things. There's just too many things. And because of my questioning on things i've had you know leaders block me i've had my upline no longer i am no longer in her group i have had people uh people um okay block me i'm i'm no longer part of the market partner official group and that's fine but it's not the company doing this. It's it's some market partners that are doing this. And that's fine. Because people could be in denial or maybe just, I don't know. I don't know. Um, so if I can give anybody any piece of advice, let's put it this way. I ran my business with integrity and trust in my heart okay i would never everybody is on a journey everybody's on a different journey so if you're if you're a leader and you're finding it tough this is giving me some tough love but if you're a, a leader and you're finding it really tough right now go and find more people because the people that you have right now are on their own journey. And if they're not pulling, as you might think, their weight, that's not their problem. So take, you know, I've seen videos where there's leaders complaining about their team not working well there's reasons for everybody there's reasons for everything so instead go and find some more people okay so you know my team for for any reason is working it as best they can i'm not there telling them to keep working <laughs> do you know what i'm saying so as a leader, if you find that you maybe aren't at that rank or maybe <sighs> upset, I don't know, go out, pound the pavement, just like everybody else does. So that's my rant for today. I wanted to get this out. Um, and I feel good for getting it out. Um, but I can't do it. You know, I've told my husband I can't, I can't, I can't. I just, I cannot promote a brand with all these issues. Thank you for watching and, um, I hope you understand. I also want to make sure that it has nothing against anybody. This is my opinion. Everybody has an opinion, and this is my opinion. And, that, and, and you know, you take it with a grain of salt. 
you often worry because sometimes people might think that I'm hate on the company. I have no hate on for this company. This company, I have loved this company for the last three years and I'm still with this company and still love this company. But for right now, I cannot promote this company. Okay, that's, that's all there is to it. So that's it. Thank you very much for listening.